Right. Still with me, celebrity civil litigator John Phillips and criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Eric Faddis. John, I'll start with you. Um, let's go back to the case involving the six-year-old and the investigation into whether school officials should be charged. Some egregious facts in that case as well as far as ignoring some signs that day. Your thoughts on that? Thoughts and prayers aren't working. And justice needs to stand in the gap and if that's criminal prosecutions, if it's more civil lawsuits, we've got to find a way to get past this epidemic. Pandora's box is wide open and people need to, people responsible for children and adults that put these guns into the hands of, of shooters and mass shooters, they've got to be held responsible where the law allows. All right, John, but that doesn't answer my question. We're talking school officials. They have nothing to do with putting a gun in the hand of the child. I think some of the testimony or some of the information will show that there were res reports of sightings of the kid having a gun. So do you kind of put that in the same category? I do. I again, it's it, it, see something, say something. And usually you would see that in a negligence lawsuit, right? Usually that's, that's where the civil side comes in for wrongful death. It is unusual to see the next step of, of criminal liability, but I think we're going to see more and more cases of, of, of criminal neglect be prosecuted related to these cases in, in the districts that, that uh, aren't a, a bit more red and Second Amendment oriented. Yeah, absolutely. Eric 